Welcome back, my dear students. So in this section here, we're going to be creating uh, uh, slugs, okay? Creating pretty URLs. And what I mean with pretty URLs is super simple. Come on, most of you know this stuff, right? If I'm in my, you know, I'm viewing my post here, and if I click view, you can see this ugly ID right here on top, right? We don't want that. We want to have maybe the title of the post separated by dashes, just like some big sites do, right? So we're going to do this in this section. Let's go ahead and start. And let's go ahead and start looking for something, npmjs or something like that, right? We go to npmjs.com. And let's go and find a package for this. Let's uh, say uh, something about slugs, OK? And now here's the idea. Before I, we, we download a package and do this, let me show you the idea of this. So this is how this works. Let's go to our models real quick. In our models, let's say our post model right here, we need to create a, another key, right? Another object that is going to hold our slug. Our slug is a representation of some data, okay? And we use logs to, let's say for example, WordPress, okay? And then we say slugs, okay? And you can see what is a post slug in WordPress, right? And you can see that the definition here is a friendly URL, valid name of a post. And that's what a slug is. It's just a representation of the name of that post, okay, of that data that we want that is actually really ugly in, my, in our case, right? It has the ID. We don't want that. That's what a slug is. And usually what you do is in your database, in your, well, this is our schema, but if you're using uh, something like a MySQL, uh, you will have to go and create a sap separate uh, column in the table, right? Just like we're doing right now, or we are going to be doing right now. So we create a slug. I'm going to do this all the way in the bottom there, here, actually before the comments. I'm going to say slug, right? And then we give it some type of data type, and we're going to say it's just going to be a string. Not a schema, but a string. There we go. Let's put a comma right here. So in this field, in our database somewhere, we're going to hold the name, the title of our post. And this is comments. So whatever this title is, is going to be held, okay, or in lowercase, with hyphens. And in case we have a duplicate uh you know, title or let's say the same name uh, post with the same title, we want the last number to go and increase. So the first one would be the original and then the second one we have a number two or something like that. That's the type of slug we want. We don't want duplicates, all right, because some posts might have the same name, right? So if we go and look for you a slug here and press enter, we're going to have a couple packages. So let's, this one. There we go. Slug URL. Slug. These are all packages that we can use. Okay. Um, one of the best ones that I have used is called because since we're going to be using Mongoose, um, it's called Mongoose URL slugs or something like that. Right here. Okay. We are using Mongoose, and it would be nice to have some type of method in our model that will generate our URLs right away without even doing this in the code ourselves. So before we spit out, before our application spit out some data, some type of URL, um, we want this to be done for us. So that would be really cool, right? Because if we don't do it like this, then we will have to go to our routes and do it there, do the, the that code there, right? Some type of uh, method here or um, functionality that will some, some, somehow modify our post when we are creating it, right? Or updating it. We don't want that. We don't want to go and write stuff here in our route. We want this to be done for us before it even gets to our routes in the database, before even that data is inserted. Um, and of course, you can get it. You can go ahead and, and create some type of functionality here that will modify that title and create and put that in the slug field. But like, like I said, we don't want to do this. We have a package that would do this for us in the model. So 
here we are going to be installing this bad boy, bad boy. And let's come back here. I'm going to do control C. I'm going to paste that in there and I'm going to go ahead and download it. Okay. Then let's do no one, turn on our server and let's go to our model. Super simple. And look, in this lecture, we're going to finish it. First thing is that we need to require this guy const URL. Um, what can we call this? We can call this whatever we want. Let's just go by the documentation. That's what they have there, I believe. Mongoose URLs logs, okay? So we downloaded the app. I explained to you, I mean, we downloaded the packet. I explained to you what it does. And on the next lecture, we are going to be finishing it by doing some modifications to our model, okay? Thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next lecture. You guys ready? Let's do this. All right. So in the last lecture, we downloaded our package, okay, uh, and then we require that here in the post model. So, and we also have this log, okay, data type here. Well, this log, this object in our model, right? It's part of the schema. Um, so make sure that you have that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use a, a, um, method or a function that is actually used in Mongoose to plug in functionalities. So Mongoose has this plugin method and guys, I'm sorry if I'm taking too long explaining this to you, but I want you guys to be um, fully knowledgeable about this stuff. So if we type in Mongoose plugin, okay, you can see that Mongoose is going, well, the, the documentation is going to help you understand it better, but it basically it's telling us, look, the schemas are pluggable. That is, they allow for applying, applying prepackaged capabilities to extend their functionality. So with this plugging method here, and let me just make that a little bigger for you. We can plug in other codes that have to do with modifying our schema in a way. Okay. So that's what we're going to be doing here for this specific package. And this is something I'm getting from the documentation that I already know how to do. Okay. So I'm not making this up. So I'm going to use the post schema that I have here, right? This whole schema. I'm going to use that and I'm going to use the method plugging. You see that we're not going to be doing several plugins, just one. And this plugin name is URS slugs that we are requiring on top, right? That's going to be a function that we pass in the parameters we want. We want to pass in the first parameter is what type of field we get in this slug from, where we need to pull data from. Well, we need to pull data from the title because that's what we got here, right? That's going to be the title of our post, right? Now, the second parameter is going to be an object specifying the other field where this data that's going to be modified is going to. And the field that is going to is going to go to the field called slug. And that's what we got right here. Okay. And that's it. That's all we got to do, guys. There's nothing else that we got to do. Let's actually put this above here. Okay. Like that. Pretty cool stuff, right? Guys, uh, by the way, in, well, I'll talk to you about that later. But anyway, let's go back and see if we can do something in our, admin let's log out and i'm just doing that i was already logged out every time we make changes like that it logs us out okay so i'm going to create a post we don't have anything in the database just just so that you see we have three posts in, in my case and i don't have a slug field anywhere okay so when i create a post my fourth post some gibberish data going to this category here. Let's go make it to the node category create. Let's go back here. Let's refresh. Let's go all the way to the bottom. And now you can see that it says slug there. Okay. Let me just make that bigger for you so you can see it. slug. And then it says my fourth post. Okay. So that's the first part. But remember that if you want to see this URL on top, we have to, instead of actually querying the database for the ID, we have to query the database for the slug. Not only that, but we have to, you know, show the slug here somehow, right? 
So that's what we're going to be doing in the next lecture. Now, keep in mind here that this is giving me a warning. It says duplicate error collection index log one already exists. Okay, so let's go back here to our database. Let's refresh. Okay, my first post. Let's create another one real quick. Let's go and see my fourth post with the same title. So Jira stuff create. Let's see if that works. That looks like it worked. Refresh. And now you can see that it says my fourth post number two. Okay. And then we're going to take a look at that arrow here that we got. Okay. Um, which in our case, let me see if we have the same arrow on top. We don't have, we only had it once. Okay. So we can test it out to see if we get that error again. It looks like we have it here. We'll check on that on the next lecture, but you can see that it is working. Thank you so much, guys. On uh, the next lecture, we have to make sure that this, when we click it, is showing our slug here somehow. All right? See you in the next lecture, guys. Welcome, my dear students. So on the last lecture, we encountered an error, and I want to clear that out before we continue. So. What I did to resolve that error was to log into my Mongo shell. Okay, and I went to my command prompt or whatever um, you have, your bash, your, your shell for, for Git, whatever. I went Mongo, UCMS, <clears throat> excuse me, db post that drop. That's the first thing. Delete all the data you got there, right? You don't want those fields uh, to conflict with each other. Then once I deleted the data, I removed the slug object that I was all the way down here. We placed it after, I believe, after dates or something like that. Um, I placed it close to the title. Okay. And once I did that, I went to my CMS, of course, and I started creating, you know, I logged in, I logged out, or I logged in, and I started creating posts with the same title. My, per, my first post, my first post, just testing things out. And then... As you can see here, it worked. Everything just works fine now. My first post, my first post two, three, four, and five. Okay? So that's that duplicate error that we had on the last lecture. Uh, data was uh, conflicting there, and um, we resolved it. But anyway, I think that was here somewhere. Right here. Okay? So that's how we solved that issue. Now, on this lecture here, now that we have our slug, we need to find a way to show it. Now, if I go to all posts here and I click here, this is going to show me that specific post, which is 54 C. And let's go here. 54 C is the first one. Okay. So in order for us to show that post, we have to have a link that has what? What do you think that link has to have? Let me show you. So let's go to view and let's go to that index. And this view button here or view link is looking, is sending the ID. We don't want to send the ID anymore. Okay. What we want to do is send the slug. Okay. We want to start looking for data with the slug. And then on that post index, we have to go to that route. Okay. And this is in the front page. Yeah, so um, let's go to our, and this is where we want to look for that. And we can leave it the same way. I just like to call it, give it a different name here just to, you know, reflect what we're doing here. We are looking for a slug. So let's go back to admin. Of course, we need to log out or log in again. One, two, and three. Come back here. Post all posts. And now if we click here, it's going to look for that specific post. If you look at it, it says my first post. Okay. And it's supposed to be looking for that. Now, let's go back in the database because instead of having this ID here, we need to give it the slug field okay now it should work let's go back here and then say one two and three there we go now all posts 
click here and now you can see that the URL is pretty good job guys really good job okay let's go back to the next URL you can see that it is working now we have pretty URLs working guys really awesome how awesome is this right if this course doesn't deserve a five star just for this feature right now I don't know why it's going to get it I don't know why it's going to do it all right so we're gonna be we're gonna keep actually adding more features to this uh, project here just to make you guys smarter about Node.js and I hope you're liking the course so far and I'll see you on the next lecture now keep in mind that you know you need to add that functionality to wherever you're clicking on the link right and then you need to be searching for that slug so that way you can you know have this here pretty cool stuff right all right so guys thank you again see you in the next lecture keep it up guys you're doing very good